Well, hey everyone, I was just looking at some of the observed snow reports, snow totals from what we saw last night. How crazy was that? That some of you just had some sprinkles, like I live near downtown and I just saw a few sprinkles on my windows, but then you went up pretty far north, like over to Palmer Lake and Black Forest to the county line. It was like one to two to almost three inches of snow in the grass. The roads are fine, but it was a reminder that this warm air we get from time to time in April, it doesn't matter. We can still get some snow. Now, any snow we had on the ground, it's gone. It's kind of a yellow, nice day out there. It's chilly, though. It's noon, and we're only at 36 degrees up on Monument Hill. Now, downtown Colorado Spring, I said this morning, get a jacket or like a half zip, so somebody listen. It's 54 out there with blue skies and Tejones moving just fine. A little cool for lunch outside, I suppose, but if you're in the sun, it's definitely a bit more comfy. In Pueblo, the winds aren't too strong right now. It's 58 degrees, so it feels like actually very nice in Pueblo, but tell you what, here are the current wind gusts. Pretty windy in the Springs, windy in Canyon City, but real windy out in the Eastern Plains. Lyman to Kit Carson all the way down to Springfield. We figured the gusts would be at least uh, 40 to 50 miles per hour, but we know that they could get even faster. So like here's what we could see through the afternoon. Typically the winds kind of max out in the middle of the day. And so Kit Carson, Eads, uh, La Junta, and really more to Springfield, we could get up to 60. I mean, we're about 15 miles per hour away from gusts there right now. So if we did, it wouldn't be a shock, but it is something we would caution any truck drivers going out east with trailers, you know, that that trailer is going to want to lean when you get out east of La Junta. So this is all due to this low pressure system moving right through the heart of Iowa with rain, thunderstorms around it, and even a little bit of snow this morning back towards western Nebraska and some of that mixed into uh, just outside of Wichita. So there's some cool air behind here. Monument knows what we're talking about. But after this moves on, there's there's not a whole lot of activity left behind. So I think we're clear for a few days. We're just really windy. Now today we're heading for high temperatures in the 60s and a couple places out to the 50s. So we got a little ways to go, but we will get chilly tonight. If you're worried about the plants, you know, we're forecasting lower 30s in the Pikes Peak region to Pueblo. So maybe cover them if they're sensitive to be extra safe. You always want to use like a cloth that's more insulated than let's say plastic or a tarp. A tarp can help, plastic can help, but you want something a little bit more uh, clothy. It's a better insulator. We will go to the extended forecast. We're close to 70 tomorrow. Beautiful day and probably the least amount of wind we've had in a while. Still windy to breezy, but not like the last couple days. We back to a windy day Friday from a cold front, and then we are looking at some snow potential, a small one Sunday, and then next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, there could be some moisture floating around. Pueblo, I think we're dry through the extended, warmer tomorrow, mid 60s Friday, kind of a rain to snow chance next Tuesday. It's exactly what we see in Canyon City. Canyon City, we're maybe a degree or two cooler on our highs for the next few days. Both cities are quite windy, Pueblo, Canyon City. And Woodland Park, you know, maybe a stray flurry on the Rampart Range on Friday, but I think we're dry. Looks like we could see a little bit of a snow Sunday, but Tuesday right now is our day. Renee?